What's up, guys? E-Drone here. This is the DJI Mini 3 Pro, and we're going to be taking a look at what I think might just be one of the most convenient, best ND filter sets for the Mini 3 Pro. Stay tuned. These were sent to me for review by KNF Concepts. Thank you so much for sending these out for review. I really appreciate that. However, um, they did not have any bearings or any conversations about what the review would entail. The only thing that I'm getting in exchange for the review is the ND filters themselves. So all the thoughts and opinions you're going to hear on these are completely my own. And uh, let's go ahead and talk about what I really like about these ND filters. Here they are, guys. This is the KNF Concepts ND filter pack here. You get two of these. They are fully adjustable by rotating the bezels to get the desired stop. Now, what's great about these is you don't need any other ND filters with this set when you buy these two here. You get ND2 all the way to ND32. Then you get ND32 all the way to ND512. So this is going to cover just about every single lighting condition that you would be up against. And a nice convenient two-pack here. Very, very nice quality so far. Uh, the glass seems to be fog resistant, water resistant. Uh, very high quality glass used on these. As far as installing the ND filters, it's very simple. I just lay the Mini 3 Pro on its back, rotate the camera so it's facing up towards me. Go ahead and stick the ND filter on there and then just twist the lock. Once you have it twisted and locked into place, you're good to go. And then you just need to simply adjust the bezel here and dial in the correct amount of stops you need for the lighting conditions. So we're getting ready to get set up here to get the uh, Mini 3 Pro set up for the lighting conditions to see how we can use these ND filters. And what I've done is I'm gonna be recording in 4K 30. And to get that perfect normal, uh, perfect motion blur, we're gonna need to double the frame rate of 30 FPS. So one over 60 for the shutter speed. Uh, I am gonna leave the ISO all the way down to the lowest setting. And there you can see we are definitely a little bit too dark. So in order to adjust, it's very simple. You simply just twist the bezel on here. And as you can see, it's lighting up very easy. I just changed the ND filter without taking the ND filter off, which is really cool. Um, what I like to do is point the drone at the brightest area and see what the footage looks like. This looks like it could go a little bit darker. See the whites on the houses? That's kind of what I'm gauging this off of. And what I really like is, we're going to go just a little bit darker. What I really like is, you can twist this bezel. You don't even have to go to the... Um, the next setting, you can actually go in between settings. So let's just say a uh, four was too light, but a five was too dark. You can go right in between the four and the five, and you can get that desired look that you're going for for the ND filters. I think this looks really good. Let's go ahead and send it up, see what this looks like. Let's go ahead and take off. Start the recording. The home point has been updated. Please check it out the map. And this looks pretty good, actually. From what I can see, the blues look really good. The whites don't look too overexposed. Let's go up higher. It's going to just go straight up. I'm just looking at the colors to see, does this look like uh, it's going to be the right setting for the ND filters? Oh, yeah. That looks really good. The whites look a tad bit washed out, right? But not terrible. Let's look at that skyline. Nice and clear, bright, sunny day today. It is uh, in the morning as well, so depending on the time of day, that will also affect how dark or light you want your ND filters to look uh, for the stops. Um, but normally you want to just kind of go around and look at the brightest part of where you're going to be filming as well as some of the darker shadier spots this looks pretty good um, i can still see the clouds off in the background see that in the sky the sky isn't so washed out where i can't see the clouds and let's take a look now in the shade 
can see here we have the trees, some shade. It does look a little bit dark in the shade. However, you can always kind of brighten that up in post. But if you overexpose, you can't really darken that back up, if that makes sense. So it's better to be a little bit dark than to be too bright. Um, just keep that in mind. But here's an example of what that footage looks like. Not bad. Yeah, I don't think I would want to go too much darker just because of how the shadows are looking, but I think they look really well. You see um, underneath the shadows there, you can still make out some details. Let's take a look at the car movement. Okay, so this is going to be what it looks like with the ND filter on with the shutter speed locked. This is going to slow down the shutter speed. Therefore, you get that nice motion blur. So if I pause the cars driving by, you can kind of see what they look like when they're in motion. Right? And then I'll do another comparison without the ND filter so you can see the difference. But that looks really good. I mean, crystal clear colors look nice and vibrant um yeah let's look at that car again see that there now let's go ahead and bring it down and then we'll show you a comparison with the no nd filter uh real quick i wanted to show you guys this cover that i got um for my um uh, dji main 3 pro this thing is one of the best coolest designs i've seen yet for a cover actually has a built-in little sunscreen shade here that you can adjust depending on the lighting conditions right and this actually folds in and you can actually cover the complete screen the whole front of the controller and you can leave the sticks on so this will actually fit in my bag you don't have to worry about taking the sticks off it protects the whole front of the screen and it's really simple how it attaches it just wraps around the top which gives you all the um open holes for your antennas as well as your um the venting to keep everything cool you have vents on the back as well and it just connects here in the back with the two included uh little thumb screws really like it um i'll put links in the description for this as well i figured you guys would really like that so we've removed the the nd filter and i've left all the settings the same and as you can see when you try to lower that shutter speed without the nd filter it's super washed out it's too bright Let's go ahead and put this back to auto settings. All right. Let's go ahead and take off. Take off. No point has been updated. Please check it on the map. And now we're going to go straight up, and I want to show you the difference between the uh, having the ND filters on and that motion blur and not having them on. So you can see what it looks like now as we come above the trees. Okay, so it still looks pretty good. Colors look good. White's a little washed out. But this is where it's going to make a big difference is when we see movement. So when we actually see cars moving by, because the shutter speed now is a lot higher because we put it back in auto, if we were to pause right now, the car is going to look like it's completely in focus, completely clear, and that's just not normally what our eyes see. Uh, when we see movement, we don't see it clear the whole time it's moving. It looks kind of blurry when things move. So that's the difference. You can see now what it looks like without the ND filters. All right, let's take a look around. So we can do a little comparison. And you can kind of see what it looks like without the ND filters. I'll put a side-by-side -side comparison up so you can see kind of the difference. There you go. Spin around. Yeah, the sky looks a little bit more washed out without the ND filter on auto settings. Struggling to see the individual lines and the siding there on some of the white houses. So yeah, you just get a, a lot more versatility. You get a lot more adjustment room when you're using ND filters. Um, so really lock in, you know, what kind of look you're going for, for that cinematic look. All right, let's go ahead and bring it back, put the ND filter back on. Now we've got the ND filters back on. Let's go ahead and take it up. 
Yeah, I really do love the Mini 3 Pro. It's definitely one of my favorite drones to date. And the fact that now we've got these awesome uh, ND filters for it, man, it just really steps up the quality. Let's take a look at some of this uh, greenery over here, see what it looks like. Yeah, it seems to really, the colors are just as vivacious uh, with the ND filter than without, I think. I think the colors actually look a little bit better. But you be the judge, you'll see, you'll see both uh, with and without the ND filters. But yeah, this, uh, I'll show you some of the settings as well that we can change, kind of help uh, dial this in. But let's go ahead and take a look at this position right here. And as you can see, we have movement, we've got some shade, we got some bright areas. This is a really good place to kind of show you uh, the changes you can make. Now, if we go ahead and tap on these camera settings, like I said, we've got our shutter locked in. You can raise the ISO um, depending on what kind of shot you're trying to get. I tend to want to leave the ISO all the way down uh, when I'm using the recording because I feel like when you start raising the ISO, depending on how the lighting is, sometimes it can add unwanted noise in the video that doesn't look good. Um, but as you can see for our exposure, I mean, we're right on. The exposure looks perfect. So that's what I like about these ND filters. You can you can dial these in exactly where you need them for the lighting condition, and you don't have to you don't have to compromise and say, okay, well, you know, the ND32 is too dark, but the ND16 is too light. Well, I guess I'll go with the ND32 because it's you know it's darker and I can brighten it up in post. You don't have to make those sacrifices with with this set here. You can dial it in if you want to have. You know a little bit darker than the nd16 but not quite as dark as the nd32 you can dial it right in between the two numbers on the on the bezel and lock it right in exactly where you need it man this just this looks fantastic the video i'm seeing right now looks really good um let's go ahead and take it for a flight because it does say uh they do advertise oh then the first line there um they do advertise that this these nd filters um, are water, dust, and glare resistant. So in theory, we should be able to fly this around water and we shouldn't have, you know, a lot of glare, a lot of reflections coming off the water. So let's go ahead and test that now. Over here, we're going to take a look at some of the water and we're just going to kind of see what that looks like. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I definitely don't see a lot of glare on that. See it very clearly. Oh yeah, even though it's a little bit dirty. <laughs> Let's go take a look at the bigger pond a little bit further out. Let me go ahead and take a look. Let me go ahead and put it in sports mode so we can get trucking here. Yeah, there's going to be a bigger pond back here. That I think will look a lot better on film and um, yeah it's a beautiful day got some nice breeze it is a little hot so definitely gonna have nice full Sun today all right there you go there's a perfect example there look at that water down there I mean it looks crystal clear I don't see any crazy reflections let's go around the other side just to see no perfectly happy with that yeah i don't see any reflections coming off the water but just make sure let's go over here and spin around and what i'm looking for is if i come around the pond the other way is there any reflection None that I see. Yeah, oh, there we go. There we go. Perfect example right there. So as you can see, we've got the sun hitting the water there, but it, it doesn't, the, the reflection is not ruining the shot. It's not making it so washed out that you can't make out what you're looking at. Look at that right there. Perfect example of how the anti-reflection works on these filters. Really, really nice. They do advertise uh, KNF Concepts that this has a very high quality glass. 
uh, with a really nice um, coatings on it that helps with the uh, water resistant, glare resistant. Look at that. You can see the sun like perfectly in there and it's not washing out the entire body of water from the, you know, not having that glare. So really nice. Yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with these. Nice cinematic footage as well. Oh yeah, really good. I'm gonna come around here and come around the back side as well. Yeah, loving these shots. And if I'm profusely sweating, it's because it's almost 100 degrees today already. <laughs> it is a hot one, but yeah, I wanted to get out here and uh, show you these ND filters because I've been really impressed with uh, the quality of them for the price. Normally when I buy ND filters for the, uh, the drones, you know, they're normally pretty expensive. But these seem to be way better value for what you're actually getting. And uh, yeah, they seem like they're going to be a, a win in my book. Let's get a little bit more cinematic shot right here. I love coming around the side fast like that and kind of revealing and kind of revealing. I love that shot. Look at that there. Beautiful shot there. Beautiful shot. Love how it just opens it right up. Man. Yeah. The video just looks way better on this with these filters, I have to admit. Let's go ahead and bring it back. The DJI Mini 3 Pro has been one of my favorite GPS camera drones to date. And I've been waiting for a good, decent set of ND filters that would be able to uh, give me the wide variety that I needed to be able to step up my uh, video video quality on the Mini 3 Pro, get that cinematic video motion blur. I've always been a huge Polar Pro fan, um, and that's just by strictly um, the design of them, the, the premium of the premium filters they offer. However, I, I must say I've been very quite pleasantly surprised with how these ND filters perform for the money. Uh, the price is really affordable. And you only have to buy the two pack to get pretty much every single stop that you would need for all different kinds of lighting conditions. They do not affect the sub 250 uh, gram weight limit. They don't affect the gimbal in any kind of negative way. And yeah, I think there, I think this is a solid win. It's going to make it way more convenient when you're out in the field and you need to get your ND filter dialed in for different lighting conditions. This is going to be a way more convenient, faster, easier way to get the exact uh, look your desire for without having to pop on and off all kinds of different ND filters. This is going to get you covered. Thank you guys so much for watching. Links will be down in the video description for the ND filters from KNF Concepts as well as the cover I showed you uh, for the Mini 3 Pro controller. I think that's a really awesome addition um, to add to your arsenal. It adds a lot of functionality as well as protects your controller while it's stowed away in your bag. Uh, and it can also help protect it from if you actually drop the controller. Thank you guys so much for watching. There's going to be more uh, product reviews for drones coming on the channel in the future. So stay tuned for that. And until next time, guys, thanks so much for watching. E-Drone.